We're going to take a look for some comic books on sale on eBay. Uh, see if we find any deals and maybe see if we find some something ridiculous. Let's take a look on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, Ponologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that groovy stuff. Um, follow us on other socials, Bronzeville underscore comics on Instagram, also Bronzeville underscore comics on whatnot. We do sales on whatnot every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. You've already missed it. This is Monday night sale, last night sale. I'm recording this on Sunday and uh, this video is dropping on Tuesday. These books are selling on Monday. Uh, along with a ton other uh, next week's sale is Archie. If you're an Archie aficionado, come on in. Um, so give us a follow over there, bookmark shows, that sort of thing. Um, there's a link in the description. If you're not yet signed on to whatnot, you can and get $10 off your first purchase. Also, there's uh, links in the description of this video to my eBay store as well as my email. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I'm going to um, take a look at some see what's available on eBay and see if there are any books that um, I can find. So um, let's take a look. So I kind of, um, what am I doing here? What is this? Um, I have a saved search for um, books over $20 and I buy it now, newly listed. Right. Uh, I want to filter out the stuff that's less than twenty dollars because, I mean, yeah, you could find something that's kind of wow. Um, one thing I've noted in the past uh, when I'm doing it on my desktop, you get some of these sellers. You'll see the, this logo, my comic shop. If there's something you're really interested in uh, in terms of my comic shop, uh, I would suggest um, just going to their website. You can get it cheaper. Um, so. Yeah, the comic shop, I think the way that I think they have a um, a uh, a way of uploading. I've done it in the past, um, but I haven't figured out how to redo my spreadsheets for it. Where you can just have the pictures housed outside, upload all the listings at one time, and then they'll, they'll load quickly. But you can see here that... Um, Now they, I will say this, uh, that they work on commission. So their grading is usually fairly tight, but their pricing is, um, all over the place. Like here, new mutants, VF 8.0 raw for $255. Sure. Um, so we've seen something ridiculous, uh, power pack omnibus, and uh, it's good to refresh these. I don't know what some of this is. Uh, paperback books kind of got listed in here. I also have this under, um, I think this is sponsored. I don't, I don't know why I'm seeing this. Anyway, um, I also, I, I'm just under comics, comics and graphic novels. And this yields pretty good results for me. A Silver Surfer 3, a first Mephisto for $17.40. I'd have to check to see if those prices make sense. I am not sure off the top of my head. Uh, and a Silver Surfer 4 in a CBCS 8.5 for $28.50. $49. Mid-grade Journey into Mystery 124. Sometimes first Gambit. 30 bucks. A little white up there. Is that color rub by his shoulder? And what's going on there? Um, maybe a little soft down there. It's hard to tell with the black artwork versus the black background. Uh, you would, if you could get this, and this is a tough, tough, well, that hurts my, that hurts me. Tough book in a 9.8. Um, this, I think, is someone who doesn't know comics. Is this a good $30 with $6 shipping? 
So let us go to um, cover price. And that's X-Men Annual 14. Yeah, and high grade copies, that's about right. Uh, not a great deal. 30, yeah, 35 bucks. That's about right. I mean, if I can't really ascertain from the pictures here if this is a 9 8 candidate or not. I don't know if that's lighting or color rub. Look a little crunch up there, but that could be fixed. Maybe a little swap down there. I'm not going to jump on that book. But it's always kind of interesting to look. A Wolverine, CBCS 6.0. Hmm, something's missing. Keep moving. What the, what, what are they talking about? They have a blurry raw book, just one. What usually happens in this, this is a person with one feedback. My guess is they came upon, upon this book. They searched for it in sold listings. And then there's an option, sell one like this. So they probably came across a CBCS slab, sold one similar, and it kept the the um, yeah, in an exciting adventure written. So this is obviously AI. It wasn't written by Frank Miller, but whatever. This is um, garbage. That is a silly listing. Marvel Comic Lot, number ones only, 20 books, fist appearances, and more. <laughs> um, it, it looks like some really carnage, NFL Super Pro, Ravage 2099. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a, um, I don't even know what this is down here with the picture cover. But I think I'm going to skip it. Miracle Man and Marvel. My computer's not behaving. Yeah, that's the. Sometimes you get, and I could miss something. I'm not saying I'm going to. Now, and at the bottom here, you see some sponsored, and you'll see these basically. Um, these mystery boxes, essentially what there are. 100 bulk assorted comics. So you pay 39 for 100 comics and uh, that you that I would not need. I mean, some people are into that. If you just want like some a variety of books to read for cheap. Hmm, Batman 76, fair to good. Um, as I said, yeah, that's a lower grade copy. This is something I would definitely consider for my PC. The price is... is you know, but the condition is uh, less than I would like. Um, I'll be patient, save up my money, and find a men against crime. Daredevil one eighty three, one eighty four, seventy bucks. That's a little expensive, you know, for a a roll of the dice on maybe a nine eight. Thirty five bucks each. Perfect starter collection. Again, those are sponsored. Um, Stormwatch, a bunch of uh, Masterworks. All winners, seven and a 1.5. That is interesting. Godzilla in a 9.8, 4.99. That's appropriate pricing. There is no... Um, I mean, it's a little higher. They're more in the, I think, in the 450 range right now. I sold mine for 425. I would say four to 450 right now for Godzilla one, but you know that exploded. Return of the Jedi series. Wonder Woman, the CBCS 2.5. That's a, a 1949 book. 2.5, 1500 dollars is too much, unless there's something very special going on about it. Hmm. A VG plus of Avengers nine. First Wonder Man. The show is coming. Let's take a look at this. 
Actually, the cover looks okay. Tanned, chipping, spine stress. I'd say 4.5 is a, about appropriate. Yeah, very tanned. Very tanned. That's going to... That level of tanning is going to hurt you. It does. It is a nice looking book. What do they say? One hundred and ninety three dollars and fifteen cents. Um, I'm not sure what that book is going for right now. In the VG range. Yeah, that's above what it is. And I mean, for that to make sense, you'd have to eh, get it into the five range. Probably not going to be there. You know, to have some um, Uncanny Tales 56. Huh. Atlas, that is postcode horror, so to speak. Some Captain Britons. Um, I'm going to in a minute, I'm just going to go back to page one, and then I'm going to look at ridiculous books. Ooh, first Bizarro, 0. 0.5, 250. New CBCS slab. Yeah, that is, ooh, that is ugly. <laughs> um, second wrap missing effects story incomplete. That's a book on, kind of on my want list. Justice League, Justice League, Justice League. Classic X-Men. First Conjure Row. Some Black Panther, some Avengers. Miracle Man, number four, seven. So a couple of comics. Two. Are they selling two copies for $199? $199 is about the FMV of that book right now. Superman number 48 in a 4.0 for 450. That sounds somewhat reasonable. I'm not ready to spend $450 on a random Superman book right now. Yeah, these Mice Comic Shop, it just takes a while for the pictures to render. Journey into Mystery Mid Grader. Evidently, this seller seems to highlight that it's uh, My Light 2 double boarded. Um, book wow very fine near mint signed by claremont from australia now i'm up, up late at night so you will see some of these overseas listings my first echo okay i'm gonna do Miracle Man, very fine. Minus, okay, skip. I have, that's good, very good. I was looking at the Marvel Spotlight 32. I want to look at this cable book. I mean, I wonder how it's listed. Mid-grade item, minor defects, yada, yada, yada. First printing. This is a this item is a consignment. We did not put the price on this, is essentially what my comic shop is saying. Um, let's take a look at auctions. Sometimes it, this is uh, late, late Sunday night into Monday. Um, so let's go to auctions and ending soonest. And usually when there are no bids, there's a reason. This is not, I mean, that's a bad price, but um, this is a good book. And I don't know what, what kind of bag is that in? Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, I can, I, you can't tell if like the damages on the book or the bag. Oh, they have a few issues of infinity. Yank. Oh my God. That's disgusting. Oh, what is going on there? What is, what is that? Ugh. Thanks. A bad listing. Somebody doesn't really know. Whatever. Um, 
Brady Bunch Spanish comic book. That is almost tempting. I'm going to bookmark that in case like it, nobody's buying it for a hundred bucks. Um, a 7.0 PGX restored. That's, that's a rarity. PGX picking up restoration. Um, And I just like the fervor people in a 5.5. Nothing too exciting there. Silver Surfer. You know, they have these higher starting values. All-Star Comics, number 46 in a good with 20 minutes left. Two bids. I'd almost be tempted. Um, let me find out what that goes for. All-Star Comics, number 45. All-Star. There's part of me that wants to make a run at an All-Star Comics run, but... If you're going to make an all run an all-star comics run, you're not really going to go necessarily low grade on fair to poor good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's there. That, that's a you know, it's probably going to go up 200 maybe would be 200 to 250 would be a good price for that. I'm not going to stay around for that. So, now I want to look at return copy. Oh, that hurts. Um Sold in the next hour. It's ASM 82, VG plus though. Uh, VG fine. Very good fine, very good fine. A lot of Spidey's coming up. For auction. Well, that's interesting. Pogo Possum number two. Anyway. Um, Dragon Ink Comics might be interested in that, but not at that low of grade. Uh, let's go back to the buy it now and the newly listed. A 9.6. Boring. Elvira's House of Mystery. This is not the Dave Stevens cover. Yeah, that's not, not signed. I'm not sure who did that, but it's not Stevens. Okay. That's the one with her on the broom is the Stevens cover. I want to take a look at the more ridiculous. So there's a lot of things you can search. I'm going to go with $1,000 or more new listings. So we've got the Silver Surfer, the All Winners, that Wonder Woman. Um, a one in a thousand signed by Keanu Reeves. Uh, author signed copy of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Zero's Journey, whatever that is. Back to the Future, signed by Michael J. Fox. Ooh, this is a thrilling comics in an 8.5. 9 8 of uh, Newsstand Daredevil 169. I, I'm thinking that's a lie. Let's take a look at that. Daredevil 169. How high is that in a 9 8? I mean, that should be about, even though it's a newsstand, it's not that late. It's a 1981 book. So it should be in more or less in line with the you know, eight hundred dollars and a nine point eight for that. Wow, is that that's bananas? That's yeah, wow. That's what it's been going for. What about a newsy? That's a book to keep an eye on. I did not twelve hundred dollars in November, so that price is not. I mean, a nine point six is like a hundred bucks. What is going on? Let's. I'm a, that that book intrigues me now. So now we're seeing you know stuff that's intriguing. Daredevil one sixty nine. Not even got worried about the newsstand. I mean, the newsstand's a little bit of a plus. It's a, it is a fifty percent um, bonus. Twenty nine sold as opposed to two hundred fifty three. Only 57 on the census at a 9.8. And it, I mean, it does have, they say 650, but 875, 865. Wow. I mean, I, I, interested, not interested enough at the moment to see what this sold for. Second Electra? Well, I'm going to hunt that. That's a good book to hunt for. It goes for that much. A Submariner Comics 26, A Strange Adventures 4. These are all my comic shop, ASM 300, Action 40. That's a book I want, but not in a 1.5. It is not a $1,200 book in a 1.5. Action Comics 40. That is the first appearance of the Star Spangled Kid in Stripesy. 
a one five should be, I'm thinking a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, a, a, a two O sold for seven eighty recently, and a three five for nine ninety. So a one eight, uh, maybe five hundred. Not twelve thirty. I mean, uh, that is an ugly one too. Yeah, big chunk of it. I mean, something ate through the cover there. Somebody was hungry. That cover looks okay. But yeah. Now my comic shop does give quite a Superman, Pep Morgan, Black Pirate, Three Aces, Mr. America, Congo Bill. Pieces missing from First 12 pages, slightly effect story incomplete. First appearance of Star Spangled Kid and Stripesy in three page preview. Now, this is one of the books that's on my want list because I want the first appearances of all the members of the Seven Soldiers. But it's it's almost like a cameo. 121, 3250, 419, 2000. Wow. Spotlight five and a four, five. That might be a bit pricey. A restored Superman eight. It is an eight. Wow. 9.2 Superman 57. $7,600. A green label first Punisher. I'm going to guess that's a, a signature. Now this, if that's what it is, there is a Marvel value stamp on this book. Panel cut out. Effect story incomplete. Right? Because I think with a... Uh, uh, a messed up. How messed up is this X-Men book? Oh, my goodness. A lot of water damage, it looks like. Yikes. That is that is unfortunate looking. Is What is that? Is that black mold? <laughs> no, thank you. There to one, a two, five. All select pedigree. What pedigree is this? Now, I'm just window shopping here because I'm not buying any books. Promise. Promise pedigree. I wonder what that sold for originally. All select nine. 43.3. Is that a 9.2? Also a 9.6. Promise pedigree. Those prices have plummeted. Yeah, 43.2. Somebody's looking to make $300 on it. Uh, yeah, that's the same. That's probably the only. Um, yeah, 196. That is one of one. Tales from Crypt 46. Last issue. That's uh, Tales from Crypt 46 at $1,800. Um, 76 sold. Let's see what a 5.0 has sold for 1500 recently. So yeah, 1800 is not unreasonable. Best offer. Be interested to see what they take. Interesting. Tales to Astonish. First Gorilla Man. 8.0. That's a, that's a nice grade for that book. Matt Baker cover. So there's always some great stuff to look for when you're window shopping. Um, 9.8 of DC Comics presents 47. That seems high. I have to dig the one out of my collection. DC Comics presents 47 and 9.8. Not even a newsstand. Comics presents 47. That was, that was an original... Part of my original collection, I, I have the entire DC Comics Presents run, which has its share of keys. Um, wow, eleven hundred dollars for a nine eight still. Eighteen hundred is a little bit high, but it's Fishing Expedition, uh, X Men four three five for eleven twenty five. 
x min 4 and a 3, 5, x min 4. Be interested to see what a 3, 5 goes for. Been around a thousand dollars recently. Not an unreasonable ask. Famous funnies for Zeta cover in a three O. It really takes self control not to say, "Ooh, that's a, that's an awesome book." Let me bid on that. Yeah, it's increasing on the cover. That is a, man, that is a great cover. That is a gorgeous cover you know but there is a part of me that i'd want to see what's inside <laughs> never having read the book um yeah hawkman four and a seven five I'm trying to see if there's anything venture comics 88 a raw for 1750 cg okay cgc 7.0 that's not what i'm seeing here okay they do have the raw did they take a picture of it before? Yeah. Oh, no, that's a close-up. You can see the top of the case. Okay. That's still a little pricey, I think. Adventure 88 for a 7.0. Should be 17.50. Yeah. 7.20 a year ago. Um, no recent sales higher than that, but 1750 is very high for that book. Lee Elias bondage cover planet comics, ASM four. Okay. Oh, this is, this has been up forever. There are 242 watchers. How much are they asking for? $101,000 black line variant. And they describe like what, they they see as the variants. It's just a miswrap, if I recall. I think I did this in a previous video, right? This black line, right? Because it's miswrapped. And you can see on the front cover, there's a whole bunch of white. This is hilarious. Seven oh white pages. I don't know why they're showing the spawn book. Okay, let's see what they they say because. This, this, I think I've seen this before. Wolverine Limited Series, number one, manufacturing error. Added Wolverine 310, 1 in 100 CGC 9.4. One of the more that exists. Enough said. Update. Crusade of Comics presents Spawn 1. They don't really, what are they talking about? Who is, what is going on here? Logan 069. Hmm. They have 1157 reviews. But, I mean, God, $101,000. This they have some funny stuff. Actually, this is a reasonable book. The Showcase, the showcase 34 Raw. Um, Crusader Comics presents Spawn number one, 9.9. .9. I don't know what... The, I, I don't the non hologram. What is going on? And um, item description from seller. Dot dot dot. What is what is going on here? Um. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand uh, dollars. Okay, pass. Uh, a Stanley signature of that book in a five point five for eighty grand. Uh, pass. And then they have reasonable stuff. Now I've been looking for this book. I don't three fifty. What kind of grade is it in? It's not in bad shape. I that ham is where grainy picture though.
Yeah, I, that's a little bit much for, I think, the condition. But it's not a bad listing. It's not like this bananas Wolverine. I mean, I re I, I've looked at this book in the past. Right? And what they were trying... Uh, yeah. They, they don't really give much of a description of it. But they're saying that this is a rare error variant because essentially of the miswrap because of this black line here that is not a thing that is not something that is rare or unique um they might be somewhat unusual right but all it is is a bad miswrap and really what folks want in books are books with nice wraps and nobody a seven what's a what's a seven oh for this book right wolverine limited series one In a seven zero, ninety eight dollars. This book will be on eBay for all time because nobody's ever going to buy it. I, I, I just. Man, I, I, this is one of the things that I, I kind of enjoy looking at eBay is just the stuff that's absolutely bananas. That's totally cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, it's been selling for about 90 some odd dollars. And they all look better than that, right? Because they're not miswrapped. Although, man, they, they seem to be having a difficulty separating the newsstands from the directs. These all have much nicer wraps. Um, are we tempted to make an offer of like $50? No, I'm not going to play a game like that. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go back to my $20 limit. Actually, let's just do this real quick. Let's just refresh the page and see if anything. Ooh, Jumbo Comics 40, 9.0. Okay. Um, if anything strikes my fancy for the more affordable price of $20 or more, and then we're going to um, cut bait. Uh, that's not 8.0. Yeah, this this person has some interesting. What is a journey into mystery one eighteen mid grade, lower part of mid grade? Just out of curiosity, journey into mystery number one eighteen helps to spell things right. Yeah, there we go. That's in there. So that book in mid grade is about a forty dollar book. And they have it for 70. So that is not a reasonable price. Um, ooh, Spectre, fine plus. Uh, not a difficult book to find. Second, Shang Chi. Yeah, this looks like somebody got a bunch of Journey into Mysteries. VG minus. I like this book showcase 80. I do have a couple copies. I'm searching. I'd like I, I'd like to for a good deal get a high grade one. First Birds of Prey for a VF plus 46 bucks. Uh, Feral 1 in 50. Um, Shazam creepy cover number six. So I'm that's it for today. Uh <laughs> we saw some interesting comic books on there. Um I think uh, it's interesting. Look at those, one, those um, high value books. Now, one of the things that intrigued me and it, it got me thinking was, and let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, I took a closer look at the Amazing Spider-Man 129 that had the green label. Turns out that that particular book had a green label because a panel was cut out. So the book was incomplete. But CGC historically has given green labels for signed books. 
Um, so if like in that case, let's say Stan Lee had signed the book on the cover and then somebody had a signed Stan Lee book and sent it in to CGC without really knowing how the process works, it would have come back as a green label qualified. High five. Funny story. I saw a video once of an unboxing of a Ren and Stimpy that was signed by the artist. Was it Ren and Stimpy? I think it was Ren and Stimpy number one. Two women were unboxing, and uh, they they noted that it had been signed. It came back like as an 8.5 qualified, and they were so excited that it was qualified. Um, not certified. Uh, anyway, now that the potential exists for JSA to do signature verification for CGC, there are going to be some CPR candidates. If that was signed by Stan Lee and you're going to get it for a qualified price and then be able to resubmit it to CGC for a yellow label or a signature series, a signature authentication, if they do the same thing that CBCS has been doing, you could get a major bump in value. Um, so I'm wondering if that has been happening. I'm sure people will buy the qualified green labels of high value books. And then they've been sending them off to CBCS, uh, which is not a cheap proposition, by the way. Uh, that's more expensive than just sending a regular book. I'm not sure. Well, CGC hasn't announced that they're going to do it. They do things in secret. Like maybe they change the slabs. I don't know. Um, I'd seen a couple of YouTubers, uh, saying the slabs are made different. And a point was made, I think it was Bronze Modern Gods made the point that they wouldn't necessarily highlight the fact that we're going to change the slabs, just not now, because then people are going to be like, okay, I'm not going to send anything in right now. And CGC needs cash flow. They need people to send their books in. So anyway, let me know what you think about uh, that idea, about some of the books that we looked at and um, didn't buy anything. So um, I have money in my pocket. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. You can take a look at a couple of other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.